hope it's not too windy. Um, actually just been out this morning um, in the garden. I was hoping by now I'd have another Daya slash veggie patch update for you, but due to all the wet weather we've had recently, our, the back of our backyard is <laughs> basically a bog. Um, <coughs> it's just slush, so it needs to dry out a little bit more before I can actually get down there and start getting organised with the beds and stuff. So this morning I've actually been um, having a bit of a quick tidy up in the, what we like to call awkward house. Um, anyway, so I thought you might like to uh, have a bit of a look. Okay, so here we are in the awkward house. This is actually the blind side of our house. So the house that's got the side that's um, blocked off. So all that we've done is uh, put some shelves in and as you can see, covered the top with a shade cloth. You can see it runs down the side of the house. Um, so this is what we call the orchid house. Um, <clears throat> a lot of the orchids are starting to bloom, as you can see. So I thought you might like to uh, have a bit of a look. I know, or for those of you that know me outside of the YouTube world or Instagram, you've probably got a fair idea that I um, I've had a bit of an awkward addiction for many a year. So this um, awkward house is, uh, I think it's 22 meters and there's plants as you can see, or as you will see, um, right the way down both sides. Um, I've also got a little um, hot house in here, or greenhouse I should say, just to start some seedlings and stuff off. But anyway, uh, I'll turn the can around and we can have a bit of a look. So this area has kind of been, I hate to admit it, but relatively neglected um, for the last wee while um, due to other commitments and whatnot. Um, but it's nice to see that the orchids are living up to their name or their reputation, I should say, of being fairly self-sufficient and also um, quite happy with a bit of neglect. <laughs> So, just thought I'd show you a little bit of the um, colour that's starting to come through. Um, a couple of favourites as well as we go along. Um, so, I've been collecting, I guess you'd say, for um, probably 20 years or so. Um, and I guess it all started when one of Dad's high school mates gave him a division of one of his parents' plants many, many years ago. Um, and Mum and Dad have had orchids for well, basically ever since. And I guess that's where my obsession has kind of stemmed from. As you can see by this one here, some of them have got marks which have come from the rain um, not much I can do about that um, but still as you can see plenty of gorgeous color coming through um, so there's also most of these are actually cymbidiums this one here is an absolute favorite um, this is called Wallamara Ninja so as most of these are symptoms, but as you can see by this one here, this one is a species dendrobium. So this one will actually be quite a vibrant, almost neon yellow. Um, plenty of pinks as you can see. Um, <coughs> both lighter and darker pinks. This one here. Chili pepper hot stuff. Um, there's some that have already, as you can see by this here, some of, some of the early ones which started out have already finished, although I think there's a stem of this one way down. green with the 
spots on that one. Um, moving along is also gorgeous. Pale pinks. Beautiful, really soft lilac in mauve spots. Gorgeous. Dark burgundies. This one here in front, which is yet to open, um, has beautiful sunset yellow with um, gorgeous orange kind of towards the tips. There's another dendrobium, that one's a white one. Um, there's also miniature ones. one that is a first time flowering this year. Um, I actually call it Pyloric where you can see this part here on these bottom two petals is actually reminiscent of the tongue um, but that's absolutely stunning. And then <clears throat> more dusky kind of pinky reds, green one there starting to open up you can see. As you can see, plenty of colour. Um, which is nice. Um, keeping me occupied until the <laughs> dahlias start. Um, anyway, so plenty of stems. As I say, this area has been relatively neglected the last 12 months, but orchids are certainly living up to their name of being quite happy on a bit of neglect. I'll just show you here, we just come past the shade house just in here. I've had to spray in here this morning because I had some aphids, but these are dahlia cuttings that I took earlier in the year. Some are a little bit more advanced, as you can see whereas others are just starting to come up. And just a few little open seedlings. And then more dahlia cuttings down on this side. Anyway, that's basically it for today, folks. Just wanted you to have a bit of a look and hopefully you've enjoyed. And catch you in the next video. Thank mm -hmm. you.